Hey everybody, Jason back again. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the larger blades, the larger knives. The stuff that you're using to take care of some firewood or some branches or some brush. Uh, the, the, uh, what, what are great and what, which ones I love and which ones I've kind of dis been disappointed by. So first I'm going to hit up one that's kind of uh, disappointed me a little bit. Um, I mean he's not bad, he's not terrible. Uh, I've had some better machetes in the past. I've had some worse, way worse machetes in the past. Uh, I got this guy. He had a bunch of. He has a bunch of mixed reviews. He averages rating wise um, between all the uh, places that you can buy him uh, around a three to four star, somewhere between a three and four star rating, uh, just about everywhere that you that you see him uh, available purchasing online but this is the Gerber Gator Machete Jr. The Gerber Gator Machete Jr. There's uh, if there's a junior that means there's a full size. I've not used the full size. I kind of got this guy for the idea that uh, he, he was small enough that he'd fit in, in just about any camping box that I owned or that you know uh, plastic bin and boxes that I use. Uh, to keep all my campus stuff together, for it's easy to throw in the back of the vehicle, um, or or trailer, or what or truck, whatever. Uh, and uh, I was kind of uh, I thought it'd be kind of nice to have not only the machete uh, straight cutting edge, but also the little saw on the back of it. I thought that that might be a good idea to have have uh, an all do it all. Um, you know, small camp machete, something easy to swing, easy to take care of, breaking down your smaller branches for, for kindling, you know, stuff like this would be easy to break down and chop up for the fire, you know, or some, take care of some brush for where, <clears throat> where I wanted to set up the tent, um, that kind of thing. So, he's got, let me give you specs on him. He's got a 10.75-inch uh, blade, and overall length is 18.75 inches. Uh, he weighs 14.3 ounces, so uh, 0.9 pounds equivalent, uh, so a little less than a pound. And it's got uh, 1050 high-carbon steel on him. And it took me quite a bit of time to research and look that up because everywhere that uh, sells them, uh, it just wants to tell you that it's high carbon steel. So it, it took some digging to find out that it's uh, 1050 uh, for that uh, steel. <clears throat> which, is, which is a solid steel, typically one of the typical steels used for uh, machetes, blades uh, uh, of, of this size and, and uh, purpose. Uh, sharp, sharpens pretty well, holds its edge, you know, pretty, pretty decent. And uh, he gets the job done in a pinch. Some people questioned what uh, what this hole was towards the tip tip of it. Um, some say say that it's a, a uh, for hanging on a nail or hook or whatever, and some say that all it, it only served its purpose for the packaging's sake, uh, where the plastic packaging pinched it right there and held it uh, firmly in its package. Uh, the big positives that it has for it. Uh, is not only do you get both both types of uh, blade thing here, the the sawtooth as well as the the straight edge, but it has a the handle has an excellent grip. It's got a wrist lanyard right here, and it's all together put together very nicely with uh, Allen wrench headed uh, screws uh, that are recessed in, onto the other side. So it's really put together very well, very stout, and uh, has the nice uh, wrist lanyard and uh, and both types of uh, cutting blades there. So overall, he seemed like a, a, a pretty swell deal for around twenty to twenty-five dollars, depending on where you get them. Uh, it, he gets the job done in a pinch, but um, overall performance, I was just a little disappointed. Um, the weight's a little weird on on him. Uh, there's just a lot more weight in the handle where you want a little bit more of your weight out, you know, throughout the blade uh, for 
the sake of chopping and everything. Uh, so, and I don't know, as, as much as I sharpen it, he seems to uh, just, you know, dull a little bit quicker than machetes I've had before. So, uh, for, for the price, it, it's, a, it's a solid option, and it gets the job done. It gets the job done. So I'm not, I'm not going to bash it too much. I'm just going to say that uh, he's kind of right there in the medium range for good to bad. Um, so another positive is it comes with a very nice sheath, uh, nylon sheath. Uh, very drops in there and, and comes out very nicely, very smothly. Uh, has a guard here for that uh, uh, protects like three quarters of the handle. Um, and uh, has a little strap for looping, uh, running it through your belt. And it's also got a securing strap that wraps around the handle Velcro, all Velcro, that helps keep it from, from coming out when you bend over or if you are just, you know, tossing it <clears throat> somewhere off to the side with it in its sheath, uh, it doesn't come out. And, and uh, so that's, that's that by Gerber, the Gerber Gator Machete Jr. Uh, the next one I wanted to talk about, and both of these are cold steel, both this two-handed machete. And this is by far my favorite machete out of all this, you know, one-handed, you know, single-hand grip machetes out there. Uh, some of them I've liked a lot, some of them I've hated. Uh, I have mixed feelings about the, the that Gerber uh, Gator Jr. Uh, but this, to make a two-handed machete was a brilliant idea and this guy is awesome he cuts like a boss <laughs> let me go ahead and give you the specs on him it's made by cold steel as much as i don't care for their uh true lock uh back lock uh folding knives uh they make a really good two-handed machete here and also this axe um camp axe uh, here uh, they, they did a really good job with him as well. So this is the two-handed machete. It's about right around $20, depending on where you get it from. Uh, I got mine off of Amazon, but apparently you can also get it directly from Cold Steel uh, for pretty much the same price. The blade is 11 and a quarter inches uh, cutting uh, edge. It's... Um, 32 inches in full length from the bottom of the handle to the edge of the blade and it, they use uh, cold steel uses 1055 carbon um, so slightly just very very slightly better uh, steel than what was on that Gerber uh, Jr. Um, what else about it? Oh wait 30 point nine ounces 30.9 ounces so 1.9 pounds so just just under two pounds a little bit under two pounds it's a good weight and it's got good balance the balance point is uh, pretty much right here at the base of, of the blade top of the handle um, which is where you want it you want you know the blade to have a good bit of weight to it um, so that it's, it's well balanced right about there uh, the handle length is uh, 20 and 3 quarter inches long, so good long handle. And I tell you, it gives you just so much power with being able to swing it like this, having two hands, uh, or you can use it one-handed and choke up on it um, like that. I wouldn't necessarily suggest, unless you're real positive on your grip and do it safely, uh, doing a one-handed swing like that. I probably wouldn't do that. Um, too often, unless you're just you know have want, trying to reach up to get just a uh, a thin branch on a tree that's up high, uh, you know maybe do maybe take care of that. And that's kind of one of the versatility uh, aspects about it is the fact that with with the having such a long handle and the blade really being out there, you can reach up and trim trees uh, with it if and tall bushes, you know, stuff like that works great for around the house for uh, taking care of things like that um, without having to get out the ladder and, and try to be on a ladder and swing in a blade, uh, a large blade, you know, it's a little bit safer to keep your feet on the ground and just be able to reach up with this guy like that. 
Um, <clears throat> the blade thickness, if you if you need to know that, is two millimeters. So uh, appropriate for you know your typical machetes is is right around that two millimeter. So uh, he takes care of everything from small <clears throat> small little twigs and branches to uh, splitting <clears throat> some medium sized uh, logs and, and wood, firewood, you know, something like this, splits no problem. Um, and I'll, I'll try to get a little bit of uh, cutting action in here at the end for you. So uh, he's he's a great tool. One down, one downside is, and to both of these, both the axe as well as the uh, two-handed machete, is they don't come with any kind of a sheath. Uh, you know, so sh shame on you, Cold Steel, for not uh, providing. Uh, she's with, for them with it. Uh, that kind of sucks. I'd, I'd give you another three or four bucks if, if you gave me a nice sheath for it. So uh, you know maybe uh, take that into consideration if you if one of you that works at Cold Steel sees sees this video. Um, give it give us something to protect the blade when when it's not being used. But for the sake of low cost. Um, <coughs> You can get, you can find, if you can get a hold of a chunk of a good size uh, piece of um, PVC pipe, drainage pipe, you know, 5 inch, I think you need at least a, a 5 inch diameter, if not larger, you know, somewhere between 5 and 8 is good, of PVC pipe, uh, and cut off a piece of it, and there's YouTube videos out there of some guys who, you know, Got got a good videos on how to go about the process of warming up the cutting the PVC pipe to the right size and shape and warming it up until it's you know pliable and and creating your own um, PVC molded sheaths for items such as this. So this is the one I made for this guy. It's got some uh, rivets down there at the bottom and a hole here that I put a a screw with a wing nut uh, to. You know, keep pinch it, pinch it there at the base so it doesn't come out, doesn't risk coming out, uh, and hurting anybody or, or anything. So, uh, and edge, edge uh, retention in the sheath is really good with them, as you could, as you saw there. Uh, it holds in there really, really well. Um, the only thing, you know, as with any blade. The, uh, the paint is going to end up wearing off, uh, whether it's because of whatever sheath you have it in um, or just from, from heavy use. And I've had this guy for about three years, and I just I love it. Uh, used it so many times on so many things. But uh, the, the easiest way to, uh, that I've discovered and, and figured out uh, to uh, recoat it, repaint it, but uh, without getting the edge of the blade, um, is to take like your uh, car uh, door trim, uh, just take a little strip of that and put that on there, and to, you know cut to size uh, to cover up the edge of the blade there, where um, where you're cutting and uh, and having to uh, sharpen, and then and then that way that stays. Uh, does not get the paint on it, and then you just paint the rest of it, and whatever color. Um, I used a uh, the high heat uh, paint, spray paint, uh, high heat uh, grill paint uh, from Walmart. That's just what I used uh, to coat this guy. Um, every once in a while, I'll hit him up, uh, and painting it just helps give it a, an outer protective uh, layer against corrosion and rust. Um, which is, you know, kind of tends to happen with the, these uh, <clears throat> 1,100 uh, carbon steels. So that's that. <clears throat> I love, absolutely love that two-handed machete. It is fantastic. I think every every outdoorsman, anybody who you know uses a machete uh, more than just you know once a year, needs to have have one of these two-handed machetes uh, by Cold Steel. So. For me, having a having a busted back uh, and not liking the idea of having to split wood with an axe that you know, has a has a big heavy head to it, um, 
just because after you know 30, 40 minutes of, of just swinging that thing, one of these over and over and over again, um, you know, it starts starts to irritate me quite a bit. So as far as a lighter weight uh, axe that's easier for those who have back issues or for those who don't have a terrible amount of upper body strength, uh, this guy uh, is an excellent um, uh, medium ground for that of having some a good plenty of weight for getting the job done but not being too terribly heavy uh, as well as the fact that it is named the trail boss again cold steel trail boss and he is um, all about 41.5 ounces so 2.6 pounds and uh, full length is 23 inch uh, so 23 inches of full length uh, hickory, American hickory handle, beautiful hickory handle, and the cutting edge is four and a half inches, four and a half inch cutting edge. So, design wise, nice head, uh, good weight, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's heavy enough to get get the job done. Um, and the, the handle is beautiful, well, I'll tell you what I did to the handle um, when I got it. I went ahead and sanded down the light uh, coating that they had on the wood, so I got down to bare wood and I stained it just with a slightly darker stain uh, to get the grain to come out and look uh, even prettier uh, on it. Uh, just because you know I love hickory and I love I love wood grain. Um, and then from the head of the axe to about right here, I went ahead and coated it with uh, a couple of coats of polyurethane as an extra extra protective uh, barrier from you know when the axe comes off of a wood or you're you know trying to rock it out of out of a piece of log that it's stuck in um, that uh, what it protects just protects the hickory handle just a little bit more from nicks and scratches and dings or getting splintered up um, by you know through your use so Worked out really, really well for that, um, and I just love this guy. He just has a great weight, has a great feel to it. Not too big, not too small. Uh, excellent for taking camping, or uh, if you got to do some trail maintenance and, and clear clear some trails, whether it's at home around uh, around the home, or if it's you know out on on the hiking trails and backpacking trails. So great, great axe. Uh, I've had him for. Uh, almost two years now as well, and uh, and I've just I've couldn't it couldn't be happier with it. Again, disappointment that only disappointment is that Cold Steel does not provide any kind of a sheath for it. You can you can uh, surely get some nylon sheaths or or uh, even some leather sheaths out there for these uh, axe heads, but you know they they're a little on the pricier side. And since I already made did the PVC pipe for the two-handed machete here I went ahead and did went ahead and did the same thing for my axe head here for the trail boss and again it worked out really well watch the YouTube videos there you can do whatever paint scheme you want on it uh, use the rivets on on the back side excellent uh, retention in there it gets the job done so I hope this was informative. Uh, check out these products. I uh, highly recommend them. They work extremely well. Uh, Cold Steel does a fantastic job on the, these two. Uh, the, the Gerber um, machete is, is you know, kind of right there in the medium. Uh, and again, prices, uh, the Gerber Gator Machete Jr. is somewhere between $20 to $25, um, depending on where you buy it from. The Cold Steel uh, Trail Boss um, Axe is uh, somewhere around uh, $25 to $30, and um, the Two-Handed Machete is right about $20, um, again, depending on where you get it from. I got mine off of Amazon, both both of these off of Amazon. Uh, the Gerber Gator Machete, I, I think I picked that up at Walmart. So, don't forget when you're using these tools to wear proper safety uh, gloves uh, and eye protection um, and uh, good, good shoes 
uh, protective shoes, steel toe or not steel toe. Uh, just just wear some good shoes and uh, some proper proper clothing. So that's that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, let me give you a little uh, chopping demonstration if if I don't look too pathetic doing this. <clears throat> um, we'll go ahead and we'll put these two logs up here. We'll do the uh, do the machete first. Yep, works great. See that? How it just took care of that, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> and we'll do the do the axe here. Ground's a little soft. We've had a good bit of rain, so it worked better um, banging in on that. But yeah, as you as you saw, it splits just fine. It splits pretty well. There you go. Took, took care of that bad boy right there. Just as easily. So, yeah. Great tools. Great tools. Recommend them for sure. No problem whatsoever with either one of them. And don't forget about the machete. If you're still a machete person. And like the uh, single-handed, weak, small, compact deal, <clears throat> it works pretty well too. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.